Hello, Los Gio here again in Medellin, Colombia. I went grocery shopping again today, so I wanted to share with you what I spent and what I got to kind of help you understand what you can get for a dollar around the world, but specifically here in Medellin, Colombia. Again, one US dollar is equivalent to about 3,000 pesos or three mil. And um, let's take a look. I went to a store called Karuya, which is kind of like their Whole Foods, but not as many organic products, but Whole Food prices. <laughs> um, so this was just my first time going there. I usually go to a fruit stand for my fruits and vegetables, but I just wanted to try just to kind of do a comparison to see what I would spend um, going to a uh, big grocery store. So. I had so much I had to pull my chair up for this. So I got some trout here and all three of these were about seven US dollars total. So if you could see here, the price is in pesos. And I think this is a great buy because I do go to a, um, a mom and pop restaurant here and get a, a, a sauteed trout uh, dinner where you get soup, salad, trout and uh drink and i pay 20 mil which is like twenty thousand pesos so for the same price i get three and i'll do my own got some orange juice pineapple kiwi um some a bunch of other fruits some i don't even know the names but i just wanted to try them out um some mushrooms here and some little peppers this was a little pricey I think I spent about nine mil, so about three US dollars. Got some lettuce. I think under here I have some pole beans, parm cheese, which was I think also about three dollars. Got some herbs. I wanted some basil. It smells so delicious. And some mint for my drinks. And I got some organic spinach. Then you see the other Zucchini, some squash, a uh, cucumber, carrots, plantain. No, not. Oh, I do have a plantain down here, but this is an eggplant. Got a coconut. Um, let's see. Cheese. Cheese is a big thing here. Or I won't say it's a big thing. It's a hard thing to come by. And it's a big deal for me. So I found this cheese and I'm embarrassed to say that four block there cost me 12 us dollars yeah ridiculous so it was about 34 mil and this was about 16 mil for this mild cheddar so that's about six us dollars but i really miss having like us cheddar cheese and jack so i just i did it i this probably won't be a common thing but i went ahead and spent the money now also got some sour cream here, um, yogurt that I like, Greek yogurt, some pasta sauce, some pasta. Um, I think this is apple cider vinegar or maybe just regular vinegar. And some wine, some bread, and a pastry with caramel in it. It's so delicious, at least from the bakery. So this is my first time trying it from here. And I spent a little money getting the spices I wanted because I wanted grinders for the salt and pepper. So these were about $3 each. And I think that's about equivalent to the US. Then I got my uh, re-up on my um, garlic. Got some coconut because I will be making the uh, limonada, limonada de coco drink. And some pasta sauce there, more pasta sauce. So the big ticket items here were, of course, the wine, which was about 23 mil, which is what, eight US dollars. This cheese, which was ridiculously expensive, as I've said. Um, everything else, let me look at the, so here's the name of the store. Caruya Laurelis. Laurelis is the neighborhood I'm staying in. So again, this is everything that I got. And my total was 200 32 mil 850 so that's about 79 dollars us so 
I, I'm not mad. I think I, I did good compared to the US, but still a lot pricier than if I had gone straight to my normal fruit and vegetable stand. I could have gotten all this. Cause I, I got something similar to this last week and that was only seven US dollars. So yeah, I would, um, I won't be going here frequently. Um, let's see what else was expensive. The juice, um, that was about five meal each, which isn't bad. It's still less than $2. So you can't really complain there. What's interesting to me here is that most of the liquids come in bags. That's popular. Even water will come in baggies. Um, I think it's great for shipping. It's just different for me. <laughs> I'm so used to the big carton that goes in the refrigerator, so I'll have to put this in a container or something. Um, let's see, nothing else really was too expensive. I'll pan on the receipt just so you can see, but I will be putting this in the comments of my video so you can see side by side. Oh, that pasta sauce, the red pasta sauce was about $3, so that was a little pricey. Then you have the Salt and pepper, which again was close to three. So nothing else was too expensive. The sour cream was about $2.50. That's that $69.40. And nothing else too expensive. The peppers were $65.60 here. The cheese, yeah, as I told you, was the $34.60 and $16.250. So yeah, and the trout, again, was only about 21 for all three. So again, not bad, but this won't be a place that I go to every week. This was really just me trying to do a comparison of going to the stand versus going to a grocery store and going to different grocery stores. Because I have gone to Exito, which is actually, <laughs> I didn't know, owned by Karulia as well. Um, it's just the lower end. It's like the Walmart, I guess, of grocery stores because it has the neighborhood Walmart, you know, neighborhood uh, stores that are smaller, don't have as much, and then they have the mega stores which have everything, clothes and food and everything. So I've gone there and that's a little cheaper. Um, next week I'm going to try, depending on what I have left over, a delivery service for fruits and vegetables. It didn't look too expensive, but again, just trying to try out and see comparison where where the best deal is. So far, it's been going to the neighborhood fruit stand, which is Fruver. I think it's fruit, F-R-U-V-E-R. -E I will put it in the description because it's linked to the other video where I um, did a pan of all the fruits and vegetables I got for like seven US dollars. So again, I went to Karuya grocery store here in Laurelis, a suburb of Medellin, Colombia. And it's equivalent to kind of their Whole Foods store, but not as organic, just pricey like Whole Foods. And I spent 79 US dollars. And this is what I got. Again, compared to the US, not bad at all. Thank you for watching. Join me next time.